Atoms. We are driving an aerial Atom. Look at that freaking wing. You are going to join me on my first drive. <laughs> What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today, well today is a very special day because we are driving an aerial Atom and Ever since this car appeared on Top Gear on the BBC uh, in 2008, I think it was, uh, you know, the very famous bit with Jeremy Clarkson's face flapping in the wind. Ever since that moment, I thought I am going to drive that car one day. And well, here we are. It is a really, really good one as well. So today I'm going to show you around it, show you all the cool stuff the owner has done and added to it. And then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for a little Autobahn blast because it is very windy and this car does not like wind and high speeds. So it is quite tricky. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to receive updates when we upload a new video. And if you're part of the almost 80% of our viewers who come back regularly but are not subscribed, please consider subscribing because it really helps us out. Uh, the more subscribers we get, the cooler the cars. Now, let's start with the car because it is an Aerial Atom 3.5. Basically, all Atoms start out as a base version. So the base version of this one is a 245 horsepower, naturally aspirated two liter four cylinder engine. And uh, you can add stuff to that. So this car has been built to be a 310 horsepower supercharged version. So it's an Atom. 3.5 supercharged and that also means that you get a lot of new stuff compared to the Atom 3. So we've got the new headlights right here. The old one used to have like a big one right there like a bug eye. This has new headlights at the front. Uh, this is an option the carbon fiber spoiler package. So you get this big ass splitter at the front this wing basically at the front which is absolutely beautiful. It's also adjustable and you get a massive spoiler at the rear, which is also adjustable. Now, we've got these. The best thing about this car, Jesus, it's really windy. The best thing about this car is the fact that you can see everything. So you can see the steering going on here. You can see the push rod suspension. These are Eibach springs with Bielstein 10-way adjustable dampers. It is a thing of beauty, this, and it's, it's funny because it's not like a conventional beauty. It's beauty in engineering or beauty in just the bare look of it. I mean, that exoskeleton chassis, basically, this awesome frame is so beautiful. Uh, this also has the optional plexiglass at the sides and the optional windscreen, which makes it a hell of a lot more drivable, of course. Uh, he has gone for some Avon ZZR semi-slick tires and it has the 3.5R wheels with Elcon big brakes behind that uh, on all four corners. Now let's take a look at the rear because I mean look at that freaking wing. It is so massive and so beautiful and you've got this entire structure down here that mounts it to the rear of the car and this in itself is a piece of beauty. Uh, this as well, which mounts it to the chassis at the rear. Absolutely gorgeous with the big exhaust at the rear. Uh, this is the Honda Type R engine, so the K20 four cylinder engine. Uh, it goes up to 8600 RPM. And uh, as I said, this has a supercharger bolt on with everything that goes with that. So you can go with your 245 horsepower car and say, well, I want the supercharger package and they will fix everything. It also has a limited slip differential at the rear. Uh, these tillet carbon fiber seats, also optional, absolutely gorgeous. Seating position is really good in this car. I can sit in this car really, really nicely, uh, which you would not expect looking at it. Um, this is also new for the 3.5, so you get this digital dash. Uh, the carbon fiber around it is optional, but it is just, such a freaking cool car. I think it's honestly one of the coolest cars we've ever done. Just the way it looks, 
And I haven't even driven it. I mean, you are going to join me on my first drive and we are going to do that right now. So you have to get yourself right down there like that and get the seat belts like that. That's it for the seat belts. Going to get that nice and tight. Got the mic in between, so that should be okay. And well, to start it up, we have to pull that switch and get this little thing right here. And do like that. All right, starter right there and i can honestly say that i am so looking forward to driving this car i hope you guys can hear me because that right there is the intake so it is going to be pretty loud okay i'm sorry in advance if i start screaming a lot but I'm going to guess and say that this is going to be fucking awesome. Oh! oh yes! Oh yes, this is going to be awesome! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy moly! Oh man, this is... This is insane. This is truly insane. Oh, it feels like a freaking Formula 3 car, but... And, and I can see those wheels rolling there. I can see them moving. You can see the steering working. You can see them bouncing up and down. Oh. so much fun oh man oh and the way you sit the seating position is so good oh <laughs> oh man I can't stop smiling and I've driven it for freaking 20 seconds oh man those pedals are really close together, so you have to, I uh, don't know where the indicators are. Everyone is looking at me like, what the hell are you doing, guy? That's not supposed to be on the street. Oh man, I love this car. It is for sale. So I'll put the info in the top comment and the description so you guys can check it out oh! <laughs> oh my god so I, I i i am seriously struggling to describe what this feels like you have that supercharger whining behind you it sounds so angry and because this car only weighs like 600 kilos the power delivery is so immediate it's just you you touch the throttle and you go you don't have power steering you don't have power brakes. Oh. You don't have ABS. You don't have traction control. There are no systems to help you. Oh, it is so intense. I am seriously struggling with the 
talking and the driving at the same time. It is so freaking intense. The handling is so direct. That steering, I mean, you move the steering wheel so little and the car just darts to where you want to go. It is so insane. And the way it slides around is so, so well, so well judged. The setup, oh, the setup of this car is absolutely spot on. If you have the money lying around for like a toy car, for, for something to drive on the weekends, on a beautiful day like this, I mean, there, I, I don't know if there's anything that can beat this. Oh man, it, it's such a visceral experience. It's, you have the wind going around you, even though you have this little windshield, you have that wind going around you, you have that, that intake, that supercharger and that engine, it is absolutely insane. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I, it's been a long time since I've had this much fun in a car. Oh, and you've got that beautiful, Manual gearbox, it's a Honda gearbox and it is, the throws are so short. Oh, 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 this car, this car is something else. I can't, I can't remember a car that's this aggressive and this fast that you can slide around and, and feel this comfortable in after like driving it for three or four minutes. I, I, I didn't drive this car before I started this video and the way it feels now, I feel like I've been driving this car for five years. It is absolutely insane. Oh. I don't have a freaking indicator. I'm going left. <laughs> okay, so the Autobahn, it's not really what this car is made for, but we're going to try it anyway to see what it feels like. Okay, here we go. Ridiculous. 
ridiculous, this car. It, it's, it's like nothing I have ever experienced. That supercharger whine is so loud, it gets into your head. Jeremy Clarkson said that he, he, full, he felt like this intake was sucking his brain out through his ear. And that is how this car feels. It feels so, in, it's so intrusive. It goes inside you and it grabs you and it doesn't let go. It is so much fun. This has to be one of the best drives of my life. I am going to be honest, it is freaking insane. Uh, I want to thank the owner, Roy, for letting us drive his car. Uh, as I said, it is for sale, so go check out the details in the description and the top comment. Uh, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button. You can also check out this video. I'm going left here, or you can check out this playlist. See you at the next one, bye.